This is YNN, your evening news now. Thousands of runners take over the streets of Albany. That story tops your news in a minute. Nearly 5,000 runners spent their Saturday participating in the 35th annual Fryhoffers Run for Women. The race typically attracts runners from around the world and is one of the biggest events for the capital region. That was your news in a minute. Now back to your top story. As the Fryhoffers brand celebrates its 100th birthday, the 35th annual Fryhoffers 5K Race for Women saw a record number of participants this year. YNN's Karen Terrarachi reports. turning around and just seeing thousands of women behind me. Over 5,000 women, a record turnout for the 35th annual Fryhoffers 5K. Mothers and daughters and sisters and cousins race together. It's a big family event. It was awesome. <laughs> I am so proud of her. I signed her up just without her knowing about it, and we're called Team Wildfire. <laughs> Although we don't have it on us, we came with this. <laughs> and and uh, she did a great job. Yeah. All we the did way. it in under an under an hour. <laughs> we did it. Ranging in age from 6 to 81 and together all braving the 90 degree weather. I actually, um, I passed out after the finish line and I woke up in the medic tent. I was super duper hot. 27 year old Emily Chibet could also feel the heat. I think these many races is very hot now. But that didn't stop her from finishing first. I love it, you know, I have a chance to run with the best runners in the world. No matter where you finish in the Fryhofer 5K, the one big payoff, getting to stay cool under the water. It's all about hydrating and, you know, cooling off. I just want to go in the cool because it's so hot outside. In Albany, Karen Tararachi, YNN. Thanks, Karen. Not only is this year a milestone for the race, it also marks the 100th anniversary of Fryhofer's being in business. Throughout the years, we've always got involved in the community. It's very important for our business. And as we celebrate our 100th year, we're celebrating in many different ways. One way is we're donating over 40,000 loaves of bread back to the community and sponsoring different events throughout the year to celebrate, as our founders did back in 1913. That was their motto, give back to the community. Sullivan also says one of the best parts of the race is the family tradition started right here in Albany.